My name is Tim McCourt and I'm here with Sam Taylor and we're interviewing James Hatley and Oliver Hamilton and they are recent graduates from Bristol University, is that right? Yeah. They like to call it the Bristol School of Animation now, I think. Okay, the the Bristol Bristol wasn't it called UWE? Yeah, it yeah. was, yeah. Okay. Uh, but they're recent graduates and uh, pretty much gone straight into work since mm. then. So Ollie's working at Cartoon Network at the yeah. moment on the new season of Gumball. Yeah. Is it season three? Season three now, yeah. And James is working at Nexus Productions uh, on, I don't suppose you can't really talk about it at the moment. Yeah, top secret, top, top secret, secret projects. <laughs> um, and they're both really great, and <laughs> obviously, <laughs> no. I mean, you guys are like phenomenally good, mm. and also um, uh, ridiculously young. Uh, <laughs> how old are you? Like twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Twenty two. Twenty. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, and I, I, like we're we're both massive fans of both your work and follow your blogs and stuff um, but I am also really interested in um, like how your experiences of kind of coming into the industry now are different mm. from mine I think you guys have both had quite a different path into it mm. um, I was always really impressed by the way you guys uh, the way you guys use social media yeah uh, and I remember the, I think the first time we met was while you, was, you guys were still at uni you were in your second year and yeah. you came to visit us at our studio um, and uh, it was just, it was almost like a, oh, you knew Bjorn, wasn't it? Or you met yeah, him or something. Yeah, I think I knew, yeah, I knew Bjorn. And you just turned up and we went and had a beer and stuff. And it was, uh, it was, I think, the first time I've met people of your age who were quite as good and as kind of grown <laughs> up and focused. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I, that, I suppose that's sort of one of the first things I wanted to ask was how did you... Uh, like how when did you guys start using social media was it during uni and, and how did that and how's that changed since you've left I think uh, we were always we had to keep blogs from the start yeah really? uh, uni was, was really good at that yeah, but it was, it was actually pretty good if for we them. didn't keep a blog we were back of the class like oh, don't, right. yeah. well, was, that's uh, great yeah, it, was, it was kind of uh, like they wanted you it's it's how you present your work, yeah. isn't it? it, it because there was no, oh, do a slideshow or you know, just show <coughs> some stuff like on mm. off a USB. It's always like, if you haven't got it on a blog, mm. you're going to look like a, an idiot. Yeah. Oh, right, so it's so much better than like, putting in a USB key and then going, oh, this is deep, yeah, it doesn't work, or my yeah. phone doesn't, whatever. Which, yeah. which still happened. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But I guess we were just into looking on it's, it's looking at artist blogs. So yeah. We to well, to be fair, I remember before uni, like I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I read blogs and stuff, but I didn't ever keep like any kind of online presence or anything. I had I a new grounds. Got, got <laughs> yeah. <in> <laughs> yeah, I had a, a crappy new grounds account. New grounds is like a really yeah, shitty yeah, flash yeah, website. Yeah, but I mean, that's how I started doing. Well, watching animation, well, I'd watch like, like animation on TV and films and stuff, but Newgrounds is sort of, was the way to sort of get into it, maybe like making crappy flash films, and yeah. I think having an online thing on there translated quite well to actually having a proper blog, right. maybe. But so you would make stuff before you started studying? Yeah, since I was like 13, I would make oh, really? stupid flash films, just mm. had a microphone made up crappy characters just doing stupid stuff and mm. yeah but yeah that's mm. it really yeah that's so good I, you know, I was never that ambitious when I was a young at all uh, I, think, I think I got I remember I I couldn't be bothered to make my own but I I borrowed a friend's DeviantArt account <laughs> when I was like <laughs> really? when I was like 13 I remember because like I, ne- I never really went on the internet that much or anything and then um, yeah, I borrowed his account to just post like this. So what, he had stuff that was already up there and you well, were just... Well, I think he had made an account, but he just hadn't, like, he hadn't made anything. He just used that it is to, like... The, the kids these days <laughs> <laughs> can't even be bothered to make that. <laughs> really not on my own to make an account. And so I think I put up, I put up this um, stop motion film I had done, yeah, when I was like 13, called called the carrot pincher. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like this blue tack. It was all made out of blue tack. Oh, wicked. Really? And then, um, yeah. yeah that, was, that, was, that was my first online presence. Do you still have that? 
No, yeah, but totally I'm fine. Like now. On, <laughs> on, <laughs> yeah, it might be on. It might be on um, one of the old PCs. I'll see if I can find. It. Actually, no, it'll still, it'll still be there. Um, your yeah, next yeah, I'll, I should be able to find it. No, so when did you guys start using Tumblr? Because I saw you got featured on the homepage of Tumblr, didn't you, recently, James? Mm. Yeah, something went a bit went a bit crazy. Yeah. But it's always the really bad stuff. They always um, pick like Yeah, but then people will, see your stuff yeah, and click it and they yeah, go to you. Fair. But um yeah, I guess it was at the beginning of uni when we started using Tumblr. Yeah. So. You you got sorry, you got featured at the beginning of uni, is that what you said? Oh no. no, no. When no, did you get I featured? Got, I got it was last week. Right? Um was it? Oh, well, sorry. Yeah. I've been featured a couple of times. Ah, uh, <laughs> <it's a celebrity laughs> yeah, um, uh, I can't remember what the first one was, but the last one was that little like water thing. Oh yeah. That I really hated. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'll put it up anyway. And how many and then, followers did you have before, and how many followers did you uh, have after? I can't remember, but it went up by like a thousand or something. Really? Like, it went up so how crazy. many do you have now? Yeah, three thousand. Really? Are, <laughs> are you? I'm like. Are I'm you on training behind? Oh, uh, really? <laughs> I'm on like three hundred or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's mostly pictures of penises. So <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's good to see like that's been integrated into your course though. I remember um, Wes kind it's of Wesley Louis. Louis. Yeah, Wesley Louis works with us, and um, we had to do like a kind of a piece at or like a talk at, as part of our course. Um, uh, at St Martin's and he did his talk about blogging on Blogspot and how you can kind of meet loads of artists and see loads of people and blah 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 and um, I think he got like a really bad grade for his like talk <laughs> and then and, like, I don't think the teacher really cared too much about it and then I think the next year or the year afterwards they sort of made it mandatory on you know, the course that you had to have a blog mm. and Wes was always just like Fucking fake. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nothing to put into the syllabus. Um, yeah. So when did you guys graduate then? Uh, June. Yeah, last June. Year. Yeah, last year, June twenty thirteen. And how did you guys find it, kind of entering into the industry? Because you, because I mean, I mean, I suppose like what were your teachers look like preparing you for? Were they mm. saying it was tough, or that, were they really encouraging? I think they were just honest, like, if you don't... Yeah, I think it was, like, one way or the other. You're not gonna... You're not gonna do anything, like, you won't get anything. Yeah, they were just, like... They pushed you to do... Like... They just always telling us to contact people. Yeah. And make yourself... Yeah, so it, was, it was good for, like, networking and, like, encounters the festival in Bristol. They always like push people to go to that and like some of the. Um, it's so good that that's in Bristol. Mm. Like, you that was really fair, that that's was, a brilliant festival. Like yeah. we went down, I'd never heard of it, and then our film got in and we went down and we had such a good. Just went for the day, but we had such a good day. Mm. No, it was a good. It's it's one of the best. Well, to yeah. be fair, I haven't actually been to <laughs> any others in, in England, but. Um, but you met FX at in Kansas, yeah, was that? Well, that's that was that was my my way into the London So scene. that's that's FX Gobi who's a, a director at Nexus. Yeah. And uh, and then you got an internship or something, was that? Yeah, we had um yeah, so I met him in when was it? I think I was in Would November have been that time. November, yeah. yeah. So I met him at the festival at the closing party. Like we hadn't seen him all had you seen him? During the week, or you'd seen his film? I'd seen his film and then he got up to talk about it after. Yeah, he had, had his live action uh, filming. And then, um, yeah, so we met him at the party, and then I can't remember when it was, sort of a month later, we had there was a um, module at uni where you could take, I can't remember what it was, there was, you could kind of do a bigger self directed module, or you could do work experience and then mm. a, a sort of half self-directed module and so I wanted to do work experience just because yeah I yeah that was the only way I knew I was gonna like get contact and then um, yeah so I emailed him and I was like I thought oh well I'll just give it a shot like there probably won't be anything so I was just like oh is there is there any work about and he was like oh yeah, yeah I'd, um, I'd love to have you in and then he basically just organised the whole, That's the whole thing so I had I was originally going in for 
And I, th I think when I went in, there wasn't an actual plan of what I was going to do. I was just going to be there. And mm. I helped him on his music video he did for like a week, two weeks. Um, a week or two weeks. But then uh, Johnny Kelly, who's also a director at Nexus, he, mm. um, he was just starting up a job. And yeah, I sort of managed to get roped in on that and then ended up working for another two months on that. Wow. Really? Wow, that's so amazing. It was pretty... <laughs> cool. Yeah. Did you get paid? Yeah, I did. Well, it, it sort of went from went from nothing to getting expenses to then getting paid. So it was, oh, wicked. It was a good time. That's cool. And, and so you did that while... before you'd graduated then? Yeah, that was in second year. Oh, wicked. Yeah, so good. The, that was from February to April, I think, something like that. Was that quite unique for people on the course then, that you went and sort of worked? Um, well, I think you, you did some work experience. So I think, yeah. I guess the time period probably wasn't, it was a you, long you period You did the time. longest, yeah. I think. You were yeah. Right. But I remember talking to my tutor and she was like, I was like, oh, I'm, like, he's, uh, they've said maybe sort of two months. And at that point I was a bit like, oh, can I take that long off <laughs> of my course? And then she was like, oh, yeah, no, it's fine, because... And um, she said, like, people had done it before, like, often something came about after it. So she was mm -hmm. like, oh, we can... Do you, do, you, do you feel like you needed to go back to uni and finish your course? Or could you just... Have you ever thought about, like, if you just stayed working there? Or you just kind of set up a free, as a freelancer <laughs> at that point? I don't, I don't think I could. I don't think no. I could set up. I don't think I was... I wasn't good enough then, I don't think. I don't think I'm back right now. But, um, <laughs> You're good. No, I don't know. I think... I, I I wanted to come back and like work on my own stuff. I think you wanted to do your film, really. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do film. I think I think yeah. that that is like a really important function of universities to give people the opportunity to try being a director and mm -hmm. yeah. and make a film. Yeah, because I think you don't you don't really get. But it's hard it's, to find it's, that. It's time pretty to difficult to make a film outside of a university environment. I think it, yeah, it's tricky. Um, both you guys come from London, uh, right? Or around, well, sort of, um, yeah. anyway. I guess that was kind of helpful in terms of getting, yeah. getting work. Do you guys both still live at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not too proud of it. <laughs> um, I think just, I mean... Um, I think everybody I know who comes from London, uh, almost, almost everybody I know who comes from London and is like between 20 and 30, working in the creative industry still lives at home mm, yeah um, I think that that's like a pretty common thing like if people have got that resource it just makes mm. so much sense to I think it's just until I feel like like I'm secure in work right I want to save up a little sure. bit of money to yeah, get yeah. me going yeah, rather than just burning so out and not yeah and kind of jumping in just for the sake of jumping in isn't really I mean obviously if you've say we lived in Bristol and that's where we were from obviously we'd have no choice yeah but I think yeah, if you've got the choice between paying a very small amount of rent <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and paying a lot of rent. Yeah. 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 And um, so you did uh, you did your third year at uni and did you complete a film? No. You made one though. Did you I, animate it? I made, <laughs> I, I planned to do like this seven minute really long film by myself mm. and then I kind of did the usual thing of leaving a lot of it too late. Right. So I finished, I think, at five, I think it was about five minutes, I think. I presented like a reduced mm. cut at the end of the year. Um, so I still graduated and all, like, got the grades and everything. It wasn't like I, I failed. But, um, but yeah, I still haven't got around to uh, finishing <laughs> that. <one. laughs> and then, you after you did your workplace when you went back and completed your third year and, yeah. and made a film. Mm -hmm. I've seen bits of it, but I, I yeah, can't. Yeah, I haven't it's not seen online, it. It's not online, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not too proud of it. <laughs> is that <laughs> why? It's not. No, well, that's not why. I mean, no, I, I've been, I've been submitted to festivals and, yeah. and it got into a, a click in Amsterdam. Oh, cool. Um, but that was only after I, I I finished it at uni and I hated it so much and I. Really shouldn't have, but I put some a little bit more time into it, and then. What well, after you graduated? Yeah. Okay. And um, just to kind of just get rid of some bits which I couldn't even bear to look at. Right. And I knew I wasn't going to finish 
anywhere near to the yeah. standard I want it to be, but it, um, I got it done to a point where I can actually show it and not be really right. embarrassed. So you're happy you went back? So I, I am happy I carried on and That's cool. yeah, ironed it out That's a bit, but, but still, I'm, I'm not disappointed, I was really disappointed in myself at right. first, because really? you, you watch all these films and like they're done by like people who have been to like really amazing schools and, and all this stuff, and it's like... I wish I could make something like that, and then you forget they're done in like team, like groups. Mm. Right, and so yours was completely completely done, right? on my own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there was only one person in one team in that year. One team in. Oh no, two, two teams. Right. right. It, yeah, it was, it was a very self. It's a more individual. Involved. I mean, there is you can do like you can do what you want. Like right. that's 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 one good thing about the course. Mm. Because like technique wise, you can do stop motion, CG, mm. whatever you want, and you can work in teams or yeah. Um, yeah, everyone pretty much worked individually. And yeah. do you wish that you'd worked in a team? Or you, <coughs> I think we, so. we did keep, <laughs> yeah. keep saying yeah. that. Yeah. Because when yeah. I met you guys, which was, I guess, before you went into your third year, right? Mm. Yeah. It was in the summer holidays. You uh, were going to work together on something, weren't you? Probably. We I, think, I think at that point we were yeah. thinking of doing a grad film. And we were going to do a small one on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. think yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think... I do think it's a good idea, if you're going to bite off more than you can chew, to do, like, two... To yeah. say you're going to do two films, and then potentially only do one. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because then at least, if you just do you've, one, you've got, then, some, you've got yeah. something, right? Yeah, it's true. But, yeah, so you got... Sorry, you guys were... I interrupted you. you were, oh, no, I was just going to say... You yeah, I think we, we were thinking of going together, and I think we ended up... You wanted to do something totally different I think we just, to what I wanted to do, I guess. Yeah, I guess we could have worked together on something, but maybe we would have both compromised a bit. Not, not that that's a bad thing, but I think, I think sometimes you're like, there's a lot of... Like, grad films aren't personal in terms of, like, subject matter, but I think... I feel like when you're made to work in a team on a grad film, it's always a bit... Yeah. I feel like you kind of... Like that's your one chance to maybe do your yeah. own thing. As soon as you said seven minutes, I yeah. How long? Mine was uh, four. I, I I did go. I, I did. Um, it was longer when I planned it, and I right. just knew I couldn't couldn't go any further. than I had to cut it. But then I guess it the cut it, still worked. It wasn't like you. <sighs> <laughs> not selling it right <laughs> yeah, really I mean I, I'd just rather show people it and not give my opinion right, know, right, yeah. let people make mm. a bit what they want to but oh, sure if, I, if I could make something again like make something now I'd do something completely a lot more fun mm. I always think it must be really difficult as a uh, film director to go on like those press junkets and stuff they do where they have to go and promote the film yeah especially if you don't like it I, just, yeah. I wouldn't be able to because that's, that's one thing I'm terrible at is if I don't like what I've made, which is quite often, like I just can't, I just can't get myself to like say, it up. yeah, because like, I just, I just know inside that it's just, yeah, it's I know, like, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's kind of an art, like you kind of. I think need that, to be I don't know what though. I think that it. is where experience comes into. It. I was the same as yeah. soon as I graduated. I didn't even like to call myself an animator. I was like, yeah. Glenn Keane's an animator. Like I'm not <laughs> an animator. You know, like that kind of bullshit. Mm. But like, I think, I think from experience in working and knowing that, like, telling people that you're not good enough and that your film is not good doesn't help you. Yeah, in some, any way sometimes it's yeah, yeah, just the complete opposite. Yeah, like it doesn't look modest. It just looks like you just <laughs> you're you not good yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, how long did you guys get to make your film? Pretty much the whole year. Yeah, we we had um. Well, they they kept making us like, like animatic. Like they extended our. It seems to extend our animatic stage and pitching stage beyond belief. Right. Well, and then I, like, and then I extended my. And then you. <laughs> for the rest two of the year. And then like I don't know. We, we had a we had a. I don't know. It was just to like. We should have just sat there and just started it, and like not constantly repitching and pitching and pitching really? again. It just I didn't. think we still got yeah. a good. We still got a good what like six months to make it. I guess. Of production. Yeah. 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 We've we got well, yeah. We've got because I know um, some people from Kingston. They they said they only got three months. I think didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I think on my course we had like two or three months, and that yeah. was like from conception to like finish. 
Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty fair. Yeah, we pretty much got the whole year, but it was kind of. I think when you're the first, doing... Up till Christmas, yeah. like pitching and animatic, you, unless you were really keen, you weren't going to go mm. beyond that point. I think we felt like we had more. Felt like the time would go slower, <coughs> so we right. didn't kickstart <laughs> yeah. properly and, and uh, kept just kept changing ideas and, and not just start. I think the best thing to, to have done would have been just to start making animation tests. Yeah, I think that's, that's where I... not worry about that's too where much I about story. I always think that that's the biggest... Um, I think that's one of the biggest problems about graduation films quite often, Like, is especially if you haven't made anything up until that yeah. stage, there's so much pressure on that one single film mm. to be really good. Yeah, well, I, and I, I, kind of feel like, I kind of feel like at university you should probably just make loads of films and some of them will be rubbish. And yeah. like, at yeah, least, yeah. at least when you get into your third year, you have some experience um, of uh, of doing that and kind of the pitfalls of it and stuff. Because we didn't have that at all. I mean, we did. We did make it terrible. <laughs> we were, in we were supposed year. in second year. We everyone made a film in second year as well. But it was when was that from Christmas till April? Was it Christmas till January? It was meant to be. Oh no, it was, or no, it was from like the beginning of term. Yeah, September till, till September till January. Yeah, and yeah. um, we, we had to in be fact, in we teams worked, of four. We worked or five, on that together. Yeah. yeah, teams of four or five. And everyone pitched an idea, and then a director gets chosen. Kind of like I guess what you would have done in your third year, right? Did yeah, you worked on someone's idea, mm-hmm. and uh, mine got picked. Yours got picked, and I didn't want to work with the people. I <laughs> think I didn't want to work with. Or just, I didn't want to work on my idea. So oh, I, yeah, because I was like, oh, well, why did <laughs> you fund your idea? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, because well, I thought it was too idea. simple to ma- Stupidly, I thought it was too simple to make any group. It would have been the, be- would have been the better thing to do. <laughs> so it was simple. It's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we went, we went with, with mine, which naturally. He, he was so wanted to do it. It had to be 90 seconds. It was for depict, you know that? Um, it was 20 seconds long. 90 seconds. 90 to be. Seconds, uh, right. Yeah, to be for this, this Brist- Bristol Animation Festival holding thing called Depict, where can you do a film in 90 seconds? So it's got to be 90 seconds. So it's quite yeah. well geared up for getting people mm. to submit to festivals as well. Mm. But, and um, you wanted. Well, your idea is very goblin esque, and, and yeah, we goblins oh, right, goblin. like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. deep that amount of detail <laughs> just in, like in, the, the <laughs> in the animation. And I think we just found that we couldn't, we, we just couldn't have it like that at that point. We, it did and help that our team, we were all a little bit too similar. Like, right. everyone was quite a bit of a perfectionist. You were all trying mm. to get on the same DeviantArt page. We were all trying to get Actually, one of them did, no, two of them did have DVR, didn't they? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think we, we were just, we needed, we needed someone who was good at producing to start with, because you had to nominate I a was producer. A producer. <laughs> 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 but, um, <laughs> and the least <laughs> person for the job but out of our team it probably wasn't no I got shouted at when I tried to tell anyone what to do really? <laughs> uh, I think there was two out. girls it wasn't James there was two girls who were working with me and then not be there <laughs> didn't go into it too much but it was stress levels were quite high in there yeah I think yeah we were all just a little bit too similar and Up we didn't we didn't we didn't, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we didn't have a wide enough like range of Right. Like everyone could kind of do the same kind of stuff, so we didn't have like roles kind of just merged into each other. Mm. Uh, everyone liked designing, that was the trouble. Everyone wanted yeah, to be everyone, the designer, so right. nothing got animated. So everything, <laughs> so everything got redesigned. <laughs> and just, yeah, and I don't know. I mean, we, f- we finished in OK. Did, did, did you finish it? No. You know, <laughs> no. <laughs> it wouldn't have ever, because even the backgrounds were like, Super, like yeah, super the detailed. Like the are good. But amazing yeah, they're, painting. They're Did they get them? The the girl that was doing them was really good, and she yeah. got about fifty percent of them done. Because oh, in shit. a ninety second film, and we had like we, sixty we shots. Had a lot of shots. <laughs> 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 like, not six six shot. This is September sandwich. Who let you do this, <laughs> producer? <laughs> yeah. Which I try to cut it down. It's just, oh. But then I always, I always, I always said I was kind of glad in a way. Shot a second, nearly. 
I know, but we ended up, like, by the, by the time we finished, we were supposed to do a show a day, I think. Mm. But, um, oh, yeah. I, see it now. I did it animate it? the most. I, I animated the most shots, I think, the yeah. producer. Yeah, you, you, you animated quite a lot. Yeah. Alongside producing. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> even know what he did in the end. He was sitting in his room and I was like, have you done this and that yet? Yeah, I'm trying to do things. <laughs> Did you guys live together at the time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really. Okay. It made it quite stressful as well. Yeah, no, I think that there is something to be said for not living with somebody who you're yeah. working in a high stress situation and team. Yeah. yeah. But no, we didn't, we didn't get annoyed at each other as no. many just. I remember I walked into uni one day, I was, I was coming in a bit later and, and one of the girls was like <laughs> screaming at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he was just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> just completely ignoring him. <laughs> I was just like, oh god. But then I was, I was kind of glad in a way that it went wrong, because that was the first time yeah, it really... It really like, taught us a lesson. It did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't finish my grad film either, but like, I don't know, it still... It drove me to like, I, I could see everything that we had done wrong. Mm. Yeah. We weren't the only group of problems. It was really interesting to see how everyone else was yeah. coping. Because it's yeah. second year, like, yeah. it's the first time you've ever tried to make a I film. Don't, I don't understand how these French schools get like all these films out. Do you know what I mean? And like, yeah. I, I feel like, it's like a okay, so they're, they're technically proficient, but also like just like negotiating team dynamics yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Like at that age, when maybe they all just go into separate rooms and come out like four months later. They just get the, given all their. A lot of them are a, a lot older, though. I mean, like there's a lot of Goblins people I'm yeah. working with at the moment. There's some quite young ones as well, though. There, there is, yeah. I but think like past, tw- I think past twenty five or twenty six, that that's kind of a cut off age. Yeah. Um, I think like I've spoke to a few of them, and they said that's true. But if you're really good, then yeah. you probably would get in. But they sort of you're sort of not in the favour that mm. way but um, I kind of feel like um, animation is there's a few different models of animation like you've got you know working completely on your own and yeah. there's plenty of people who do that really well um, and then but then you kind of you've got to either go super simple or like mm. have shit loads of money or spend like a decade yeah. making it or whatever yeah, yeah. Um, but I kind of feel like a lot of the most um, successful stuff that I've been seeing recently is people who were just good at like working in a team mm. like it's such a big part of it mm. isn't it and like figuring out how to do that just the I don't know kind of, like politics is doesn't sound like the right word but it kind of is yeah, I mean it's kind of yeah. just like I mean, even you know we all want to like, yeah I remember because because I've always worked a lot just by myself up until like uni so I remember yeah making that film was one of the first films you made and making it with I mean, you kind of, you half get to choose your groups, but you're, it's not like you can just sit there and pick, like, for your friends to, to yeah. work with. So, that would have yeah, been a terrible idea anyway. Yeah, that would have been But yeah, so it's quite interesting to get used to actually, like, having to take responsibility for stuff. Have you found it easier working with people um, professionally? Is, is, yeah. is it, I mean, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's... I suppose you're you're not you're not calling any shots really, are you? Unless you are the direct. Yeah, I think that was that was a problem as well with uh, films that everyone was trying to call the shots. Whereas yeah, when you right. when when you are there's a chain of command, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like you're like professionally, you're not going to start telling the director, oh, I'm, I, you know, the shot and animator, I'm going to just like mm. change the design. And but you know, I was talking to um, someone from Get Back to Like, you know, saying how that's achieved in like French mm. I was talking to my friend who got that. He said that he actually thinks that like when selecting applicants, that they're thinking about who the other applicants who to pair them up with. Like, yeah. and they they're kind of at that stage. I don't know how true it is, but he said he suspected that, that they're thinking like. Oh, like this person's background probably worked really well with this guy's designs mm-hmm. or whatever, and it's kind of almost like, see, I, I, I remember thinking that was great, and then also thinking like, God, that's really unfair that you might not get onto a course because you don't, you could great, you don't fit in with somebody else. So is it just creative? It's not even like personality wise. Um, I, you know, they it? might take it. I mean, to be honest, like I think, but then they might be looking at people who don't really want to be directors and want to be production designers. Yeah. If they have enough people who are like 
just want to go into production design and enough people who have focused interests purely in animation and then you've got your natural directors that you'll somehow strike a balance. But I don't know, maybe they do think about that. So I know the RCA, um, from what I've heard, the RCA like kind of like to see people that will kind of get on. Like, because I think there's only 16 mm. or like 15 or so people in a year, so I think they're quite careful personality-wise about who they think. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, because mm. it's nice to have a cohort who get on and like mm. actually, I think you can get a lot more out of it when people that's definitely true. are all, yeah. um, aren't all separate. Yeah, my experience of university was pretty much um, like 90 eight percent of my learning was from my peers mm. so you kind of you kind of need to get on and be able to look over people's shoulders and ask yeah. them questions and I don't know kind of spend time like outside of uni talking about the stuff that you want to do and the direction you want to go in and your tastes and influences and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff um, so do you guys uh, still spend a lot of time together even though you, even though you work in different places I suppose uh, as much that. as we can like yeah, yeah. Not every evening like no. we used to. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it used to be obviously every, we lived together for pretty much three years because even in the first year it was just opposite and right. the whole other side of the hall to me. And then, but uh, obviously now, um, always, you're, well, I'm working full time, I don't get like, any like breaks in between, it's just... Okay. How long have you been working on Gumball? Um, since the 5th of August. Okay. So it's been... Months, ne nearly. Uh, it's been about. I was meant to finish um, at the start of May, yeah. um, and because it's behind in yeah. production schedule, it's going to be extended. And, mm. and some people are saying that they worked like four or five months over okay. what they were meant to last time. So really, uh, um, I, I've heard it's so just been commissioned for another series or so as well. Is that right? It's not. It's not probably green lit. I don't yeah. think. I don't know. I don't know if I'm meant to say or whatever. Mm. But yeah, it's pretty certain that it's going to carry on. It's, yeah. it's one of I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it's doing really good out of most of all the Cartoon Network shows. So. Such a good show. It's yeah, so it's well, well written. It's very so. unique. Yeah, the writing's very funny. It, I think they uh, originally they wanted it to be like um, an adult. Oh, really? Of, it's like similar to Fat in the same vein with Family Guy, out of oh, humour. Yeah. Um, and they pitched it to adults, I think, and then it kind of got. I don't know, because of the design style and all this stuff, I think they thought it would have more impact with children, mm. maybe, so um, it's quite interesting. Yeah, because the writing does, I crack up it. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, it doesn't really necessarily fool the kids. Like yeah. There's, there's no swearing in it or yeah. nudity, although you, you do see his dad's boobs quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, um, it's weird, because it, there's a really, really, like, rigorous sense as they censor a lot of stuff they try and like anything you throw at them they can find something yeah. to censor and, and uh, I think they've got into the habit of the more stuff you put in which could possibly be censored the more stuff will get through no, <laughs> right, right. Right. Yeah. you throw enough shit kind of yeah, yeah and, and um, yeah they've been getting some really funny jokes in there which <laughs> kids probably wouldn't even what, worry about like it wouldn't affect anyone but, yeah, 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 yeah. but they would try and censor if they Properly understood. thought about it, but yeah. no, it's, it's good in that respect. And what are you doing exactly on Gumball? At the moment, I'm assistant character designer. Like when I started, I was um, doing scene builds, so it was kind of just like a like a way into mm. like the production, just seeing how everything works. I was setting up everything in Flash and then everything in Maya because there's Flash animators and then three D animators. Oh, okay. It's a weird process. Like the the three D animation is quite a, a it's a weird, like, I don't know how many other places do this, but there's the layout stage is all done in 3D with 3D cameras. Um, and then they basically take those setups from the layout and you have to, like, put in all the, the proper character rigs um, in Maya into that layout. And then you've got your 3D scene already set up. So I was helping doing that and setting up the flash scenes. So um, it doesn't sound like a big job, but when there's, like, 40, there's 40 episodes in the series and... Um, there's like nearly, on average, about 200 shots per episode and setting up scenes with like t t tons of props, tons of characters, all this stuff and lining it up right, it, it was a big job and it was pretty stressful. Yeah. Um, more stressful than 
what I'm doing now, I guess, because there's just so much you got to keep track of, and like, yeah, you've got to like everything goes through like, through you when you're doing that job, like mm. every single bit that's made, you like the yeah. background, you have to be in charge of all these assets. Yeah, so mm. yeah, it's quite. A, so with these assets already pre-built, and you just be putting them in ready. Yeah, to pretty it, much. Yeah, and um, sure. things like props, I had to get out of Illustrator and make sure they all lined up, and if they were animated, make sure they played through properly in symbols and stuff. Um, and they got me to have like an, like animate a few basic shots, like stuff that the animators probably don't have time to do. Um, and there was a lot of reuse as well. It's it's quite good in a way. Mm. And they'll have like walk cycles from and like establishing shots from old episodes where they can like reuse that, and you mm. just have to match it up. Um, so that was yeah, it's quite a, quite a good post. It's a lot of continuity <coughs> by having someone doing that rather than like. Mm. Each animator set up their own. You did scenes. that whole thing. You did it all yourself. Yeah. There was nobody else on that. No, it was just uh, me on the scene build. Yeah. yeah. Doing two hundred shots an episode. Yeah. For, and you did it for forty episodes. No, it's it, well, I have moved, but it would have been me for forty <coughs> oh, right. episodes. So how many episodes did you end up doing? Um, I did like twelve or. Wow. Yeah, quite. A, and it, it, it's, yeah, it was quite a lot of shots to film. It's, it's, but luckily they, they use a thing called shotgun in it and it's really good at, um, it's like a tracker, keeps mm. track of everything and, and everyone has like, their own user account and that was really good. I would yeah. never be able to remember what you've That's done. That's interesting, I never heard of that. Before. Yeah, it's, it's used a lot by like big CG movie right. things and yeah, they're using it there and it's really useful. And they didn't use it in the first season and everything <laughs> Like, it was a chaos. Really? So, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's really good. Very good. Yeah. Are you, I'm, I'm quite interested in the fact that you guys have both had quite different career paths so far. Mm. Um, like, James, you're obviously like a freelance animator and you've worked with us. How, how long have you worked with us for? Like, three months or something? Yeah. So maybe even yes. more than that. Um, but I guess in between, you've had time where you could work on your own stuff and obviously. I mean, get you do a lot of illustration stuff and gifs and things that go out online. Um, so I guess the advantage of your setup is you've got a bit of time to do your yeah. own. Yeah, I mean, things. to be fair, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I could do like full time. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I think I I I could, but I think I'd always since I did my internship, I'd always. Like, so I, did, I didn't really understand like freelance before that. Like I kind of, I guess I hadn't really thought about it because it was quite mm. early on in uni. But that kind of opened my eyes to kind of what what you can do with your freelance. That like you can take breaks. And <laughs> I don't know. I just like the idea that that I can do some work for a month and a half, earn enough money to take a few weeks off, and just do some of my own stuff mm. for a bit. Um, but then the same, <laughs> <laughs> but then at the same time, I think like there's a lot of projects that you can only do full time, right? Obviously, like Gumball and stuff. Mm. So I think, yeah, depending on what it was, I'd be happy to do. Would you like to work on something like Gumball? Like yeah, well, I, I had I had a, an animation test on it um, uh, at the beginning of the series, um, but I missed the deadline because I was ill, and, and I think so. I was, you didn't finish another thing. <laughs> but just, to be fair, to be fair, I was given. I think I was given because I found out really late that I could apply for it. So by the time I got the test through, I think it was supposed to be sent before the weekend, and then the producer didn't manage to send it till the Monday, and it was due on the Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was bitter on. I was like, oh, well, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it. So I opened it up, and it was a minute of animation. Oh, it's <laughs> like, a big test, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. a big test, and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that in a day. But, um, yeah, I, I did it and it was like, I think something like 40 seconds of animation, mm -hmm. maybe even longer or something yeah. like that, and it just killed me trying to get it done. Yeah. But um, I think tests are, I don't know, I, it's a really, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty conflicted about the whole idea of getting people to do a test because you don't get paid for that, right? No, it right? wasn't paid. Plus, so you're effectively doing 40 seconds of animation for free. Yeah. I mean, I guess as long as they don't use it. No, well, it's the, the, the same. Yes, I think it was from a whole series or something. It was yours right. the one but it's a the, it's a big investment of time. With the microwave one. Yeah, that's so I know it's from, like the mud monster. Thing. It's from the mic the episode the, the microwave. microwave. Yeah, it's, it's you have to animate like a few scenes. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, I think 
yeah um yeah so i think so i definitely hadn't ever done that much animation because they recommend three they recommend three games was it yeah but i think they were like they wanted it um from what i was told they were so oh you can just rough it yeah, it's, then, yeah, I think it's really rough. But I stupidly just like <laughs> did it all coloured on and stuff because wow. I, I just thought like I could just use symbols and because hmm. I and I was looking a lot at the, the series and how they do it and uh, I just thought it'd be easier, but it probably wasn't. I think they they actually will pick give you more merit and be more inclined to pick you if you do like really limit the amount you do on it because. They've got a whole other department and pretty much yeah. animates the stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. It, that's up in Germany at um, Studio Swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do all the assist stuff. Yeah, and because looking at that, they get so little time the animators to do. Yeah. <laughs> like these ridic- there's shots which I, I built them in the scene build, and I was like, this is crashing my flashlight. It was like crowd scenes where you've got the whole family of characters, the main characters, mm. doing loads of complicated stuff, and then crowds holding up candles and pitchforks in the background like yeah. they're all full characters yeah. and you've got to know like, the reflections doing the opposite thing because you've only got their backs oh, so well. you can't just replicate it in the, the mirror you've mm. got to actually animate oh and like they, they were like okay you've got like this like six hours six hours <laughs> it's like, um, like and yeah it's, well you had six hours to set up with they, the they, no I only had like I get 15 minutes to set these things really you show up, yeah. or less I get less time than that so is your is your time broken down into into by minutes of how yeah, much time you spend on Mine things? was because scene build you're not really it took a lot of things did take way longer than that, but they don't right. allow they don't, they tell you this is what you expected and hmm. you go over it but you, I don't know. Wow. I've never worked on a job where it's been broken down into minutes. <laughs> uh, it's really like hard. I have had people come up behind me and go, We need this in two minutes but yeah. it's never been like you'll do this for fifteen minutes and this for six minutes and like yeah. wow. That's incredible. I guess just like the nature of those kind of industrialized pipelines just yeah. has to be. Well, I guess that role that as well type, because it? it's so pivotal. Mm. Like as you say, everything kind of funnels in and out of that. So I guess. And I had to be there you know, going around and bash, like tapping everyone else on the back who was a bit slow because I needed the. I'm getting told by Morris, you need this in this scene now. Yeah. Go and get it from him, and I go yeah. up to him, and they're like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's like some of the people who are quite high up and I've got a yeah. badge of them I just felt and that, I, I shouldn't have felt stupid because that's yeah, the way it is works, yeah. but you know it does feel a bit like yeah it's difficult to it's difficult to deal mm. with all that kind of stuff isn't it like, and some producers are really like stressed all the time and some are very chilled so it's like it's hard yeah. working on a big production sometimes it's just the way people react and stuff but have you have you told them about your production style? Have you been giving them any? <laughs> <laughs> I have, yeah. yeah. I was like, sit on that for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Try and make it harder. <laughs> <all right. laughs> Actually, I've got James coming. He'll he'll take over from me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to do it? I'm good for the moment. I think. Oh, like, oh, bags. So uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys about is uh, illustration because I kind of oh, feel fuck. like both of you. <laughs> oh shit! How the hell did that get so shaken up? Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Right. Um, yeah, I was. Good. I wanted to ask you guys about illustration and uh, and kind of whether you guys see yourself as illustrators as much as as you do animators. Because I, from from both of your work, I sort of I'm incredibly impressed by how good you are as illustra- illustrators. Mm. Uh, and uh, to come out of an animation course with that um, ability and design and just kind of knowing what looks good and and stuff, I think is quite impressive and something that I don't see coming out of a lot of animators, mm. uh, especially people who can actually animate yeah. and like know their way around software and mm. all that kind of stuff. Um, are you guys both interested in becoming illustrators in any way, or are you I, strictly? I, I prefer it a lot of the yeah. time. Yeah, I think it. it is Maybe it's for the fact that I find <laughs> the art actually animate. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think that's what I was going to say. But I, 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 it's very therapeutic. Like animation can be, but it can be also really stressful and not go the way you want it to go. And I think it's a nice balance if you can mm-hmm. kind of animate something for a while mm-hmm. and then just design and just illustrate something. Because like 
mm. going from one to the other. If I couldn't, I don't think I could just illustrate because I would just, I'd see all this stuff and I'd constantly be wanting to like yeah. make a movie yeah, and stuff. Yeah. But then, at the same time, after you've done animation for four months straight on something, what you want to do is just like focus on one drawing that you can take right. like a week to do. I feel like. Uh, not that I'd be scared of doing freelancing, but like I'm quite comfortable in, in my role at the moment because yeah. you just know you, even if you're not, even if you're having an off day, you know what you've got to do. And mm -hmm. even though it's really high pressure, it's you know you can do it. Whereas, like, and you, and you going just... from job to job, <coughs> I'd always be a bit worried about am I going to fit well in this? I know thing? exactly what you're talking about. It's like the, you constantly have the first day of work, mm -hmm. yeah, time. yeah, yeah, like. Being a new guy at school or something. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, like if you've done a job, <coughs> if you're working on a series, mm. you might feel a bit nervous for the first week or two, yeah. but then you know you can do it. And then there's something really scary about going into a, yeah. a job. And, then, and like sometimes <coughs> you don't even know what it is, they won't tell you until you start. And yeah. then no, you're just like, like <laughs> you look <laughs> at it and just like, oh my god, I'm going to have to <laughs> I don't like that at all when they don't tell you what it is. Yeah. Like, especially with advertising, you're like, you know, I could be advertising a product that I really don't want to advertise, mm. you know. Yeah. I always try and ask what yeah. it is, you know, as much as I like. At least it's just the, the direct, because yeah. then you kind of know yeah. the vague direction it's going to go. Quite often, with a lot of companies, the person who does the recruitment or does the um, whatever HR person doesn't actually know, and they're just like, somebody's just come and said, we need a guy who knows how to draw, or we need somebody who does After Effects or mm. something. Uh, and then they, you know, got a database or something, and they, they find you. But, um, mm. but yeah, it's uh, and then you kind of don't want to be too pushy. You don't want to go like, I will absolutely refuse to work on it if it's a <laughs> petrol commercial or something. But it's, you know, if that's what you feel, then you should be allowed yeah, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, a year after I moved to London, I worked for about twenty companies in a year, and I guess you get used to kind of being new and kind of having to learn the ropes and learn the server and. You learn how to mm. do that thing where you connect your laptop. <laughs> so like the first half day of the first day of any job. Like no, I, I still get that. Yeah, I still get that. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I'm kind of still waiting for that because <laughs> I've only ever worked for Nexus and then ETC. Oh, right. Well, you worked at Ardman as well, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah that's for, right. a cat, for a couple of yeah. weeks. Okay. Yeah. Your stop motion was really good, man. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a real one. It's been like, it looked great. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's nice. What Wasn't it like a model from Curse of Wear Rapid or something? Yeah, and I'd like made him, I'd given him like a moustache and glasses. Really he, he, I think he was bald and I gave him like a quiff <laughs> and just, yeah, adjusted him a bit. No, it was good, actually. I did enjoy it, but I'm really glad I did it because I realised I, I couldn't do stop motion as like a full-time job. Why? I, do, I think it's because it's so straight ahead, like everything's... Mm. Like, take. Yeah, <laughs> you, you have no option, like you can't just go and... Like, the good thing about 2D stuff is you can kind of... If you come across a problem or if you want to just try something else, you can maybe, I don't know, animate like the hair or yeah. animate the legs or something like that, whereas with stop motion it's so... You just have to, it's, everything is all at once, so you've got to think about it all at once. Yeah. And just do it all in one take. Like, yeah, I don't think my mind's, I think it could be, I could become accustomed to it, but I think, to be fair, I think a lot of stop motion animators probably are not better animators, but they're very, very good at what they do. It's just very, be, yeah, just because it's so, mm. you have no way out. Mm. Like you're just. I saw, I remember working uh, when I first, one of the first kind of things I did was I worked um, on a stop motion shoot, uh, not as an animator or anything like that, it was just like a run up. <clears throat> and I saw, it was like for a Cabri Screen Egg commercial and the animator did something where he blocked it out. Mm -hmm. He did like the keys first and just timed it out to see if it worked and then he went ahead and straight headed again, like, so you completely threw out that yeah. animation. Oh yeah, because they do like rehearsals, don't they? Yeah, did yeah, you ever do anything like that? I didn't on mine, but I think they do... But did they teach that kind of practice? Um, what, well, hmm. well, they didn't really, they didn't teach me. Oh, it wasn't it. like, yeah, it was, it was literally like kind of, um, like for most of the time I was modeling like pig, 
pig. It was for Sean the Sheep. Oh, really? So I was modelling, like, pig mouths and, like, yeah, like, heads and stuff. And then I was lucky that one of the booths was free. For, it was supposed to only be for a day, and then it ended up being about three. <laughs> so I managed to get quite a bit done. Oh, cool. But, um... Yeah, I don't know if they do it on Shaun the Sheep because they have, because it's a series, they've just got so much footage to get through. But I know on like features like Curse of the Rabbit and, and Corpse Bride and stuff, I know they, they rehearse that stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah like, I think they get the director in to see like the blocking of it and then, and then go back in and actually do it. But yeah, some of them are amazing. They a video as well, don't they? Because like one of the, yeah. the <laughs> animation directors <laughs> whacked. Themselves. Oh yeah, 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 match the movements, and then I guess <laughs> they've got something to, to go by. But yeah, I still think they, um, they have like the lip sync all worked out for them as well, don't they? Because you yeah, have to have it's not like a chart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's just, I mean, it's not. I guess it's quite different from drawing because you're moving like the puppet. But I don't yeah. know whether that's easier or harder. I know what you mean <laughs> about kind, kind of. Being able to work back inside, because you remember when you was here and you was doing the guy with the tennis racket, yeah, and then you, you was just changing it like you would you change the bit of the blow or the way the racket span or something like that. Yeah, you can kind of. I don't think I could do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I if I put everything out as it came out the first time, everything would just be rubbish. Because <laughs> I think you learn you learn the most, or I learn. I realised I learn the most when I just. So I used to get really, if, if I was unhappy with something, I'd just move on. Like if I did a drawing and I hated it, I'd just move on. But like I've started to try and just keep like repeating stuff. Like if, if it doesn't look good, like go over the drawing and like try and work out what's wrong and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think if I yeah. like, put out the first thing that came out, it would always be. I think it's also good, it must be good to like have to get stuff right first time. Mm. I think that, really I mean, one thing that I've noticed about doing this relatively unedited podcast <laughs> is that, um, you know, you kind of like, it's the, it's the actual opposite of the way that I work every day as a 2D animator. Mm. Like, you, uh, you know, you do this key and do that key and then you do some in-betweens and then you tweak it and then you kind of do some more in-betweens and then you kind of, you know, maybe get a, a retake and then you redo it or whatever. And, all these kind of like iterations of it, um, uh, it's so nice to kind of like feel like the pressure's on, you know, almost like a, a it's fine to just like spill beer, all that. <laughs> <laughs> no one <will> care. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, like I do, I do that kind of thing really attracts me about live action and uh, stop motion animation particularly. Um, yeah. That idea of like, like just like having this really intense kind of. Uh, moment of like having to get it right. Mm. Um, I think that that's one thing. That yeah, it's probably also because I'm a bit lazy, <laughs> <laughs> or just because I like. No, not at all. Because you're saying that you want to be able to work into an idea. Yeah, which is not lazy, but I think I get. Yeah, I you're also not lazy as well. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I think it's it's kind of similar to the freelance thing. Like the way I work is I often do little bits of something. I won't just go ahead and do the whole thing. So it's yeah. like. Yeah, I like freelancing because I can do this and I can do this and mm. I can do this. I don't have to. It's not like a linear path where I just yeah head straight down. Mm. How do you figure out when you first started working as a freelancer? How did you figure out what to charge as a day rate? <laughs> um, I figured out roughly because of what I was paid on my internship. Mm. Okay. So I kind of, when I first started, I think my first job I s charged the same uh -huh. and then I've just gradually worked up right. from there. Yeah, it's something they should teach on. I, just, I think it's a difficult they thing did, to, did they teach I think it's a difficult thing to talk about, about because there isn't really an established convention for it, is there? I mean, you know, like, uh, I've definitely worked in companies where it's sort of very acceptable to, um, uh, to offer people sort of like a hundred pounds a day mm. as a junior animator and then I've, I've worked at other companies that wouldn't dream of paying anybody uh, under 250 pounds a day as a junior yeah. animator um, so but I mean especially if, if I mean quite often they ask you to 
you know, say how much. Of course, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> how much you cost per day. But it's uh, kind of managing your you expectations want... at that time in your life when you're yeah. young. Like, yeah. I mean, up until I'd worked in animation, I just worked in shops and been yeah, paid exactly. pounds a day. So the idea of yeah. getting a hundred pounds a day to animate its own kind of that was <laughs> yeah. it's like <laughs> incredible. <laughs> but if you look at that in comparison to what other people were working in as a freelance or even indeed full yeah. time, it's it's probably not that good at rate. And I think I think schools should maybe manage people's expectations yeah. a bit better. I it's think just, it is I think it's a, a um, uh, an industry that rewards cheekiness in a way. Yeah. Like I got a few friends who always go in at like, you know, double what they usually get paid. And yeah. sometimes they get paid. <laughs> sometimes somebody says yes. So like I mean, yeah, I mean obviously know. if you're outrageous then somebody will just laugh. But you know at what? You, I think it kind of work, like sometimes it kind of works against you to to be cheap. Mm. Because if you get a big project job, if you'll get asked to work on a big budget job, they're looking for good animators. I've experienced it where like if you say, Oh, I'm like a lower rate they think you're just not good. Mm. Yeah. And like, oh, he charges like £400 a day or £300 a day, he must be amazing. And then you kind of get... <laughs> totally, uh, totally. And, I, you know, since I... It's like Prince. Yeah. What? There's a limited amount of gigs and everybody goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. and choose up around the corner. You, um, you went to that, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I can't believe I missed <laughs> it. <laughs> That's good. Um, so what's kind of next for you guys? Are you making films or what's your kind of plans? I think we might, <laughs> this, we're just going to jinx it if we say we're going to we're going to try and do something together gonna make a but it's going to it's going it's to it's it's be 30 seconds really you're going to do yeah, 30 seconds we, we want to just do oh, something okay. like stupid 60 shots 60 shots in 30 seconds I'll let uh, you manage most of it <laughs> <laughs> but only because I'm uh, you have a bit more time but cool yes. so you, got, well, you guys are going to make a film together we just the two to, of you we or? wanted to do a little thing for Pizza Plaza Festival okay. and just get something in there but we kind of yeah, missed that we forgot the deadline mm. before, so, but right. it's already gone there I could definitely see you guys doing with the producer <laughs> <laughs> but 30 seconds like seems it's just uh, as well the, 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 the trouble is that I am um, I mean I, I have to end up staying at work till what half eight nearly nine every night and then I don't get home till about half ten twenty past ten I've got no time to even mm. like turn my computer and barely from for half falling asleep. So it's like, wh when am I going to get time to do anything? Yeah. Uh, uh, we we submit um, as often as we can to a little uh, two goblins guys started up a blog called Tiny TP. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. It's, um, it's, I've it's done a, a few of them. There at the moment, yeah. Mm. yeah, and um, it gives, I actually, a, gives a pretty manageable way of yeah. like, sort of getting stuff out. Yeah, I, the last thing I did was a, a little gift for that, and I just killed myself. I was doing it at work, like after I'd finished, because um, it's easier. I just can't work at home now. Like after I've been working at my mm. desk or in the studio, I just find it impossible to work at home. Yeah, yeah I think I've I've tried to start staying at where I'm working mm. as opposed to. So I used to like yeah, I'd, I'd leave work at whatever half six seven, then go home and try and work at home, but it just doesn't. Mm. And by the time you get because it because we live quite far away by the time I get home I'm just so tired I just want to mm. do something else I think maybe the next plan is to actually after this maybe this series is done with uh, what I'm on I'm going to try and move up to London and then I'll just have a lot more time to work on like I'll get home earlier even if I stay late and I don't mm. know yeah I think I think until to... until we both move Mm. to London I don't think doing like a, any kind of decent sized film yeah. is really going to happen unless we have a lot of time off. I love how like you was like we're going to do a sign for 30 seconds and in the space of talking about it you just <laughs> talked yourself out <laughs> <laughs> no, 30, seconds, 30 seconds is still manageable well, we've just stupidly I don't even know how I got worked into it but we've agreed to work on the <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bichal's, uh, another, oh, yeah, Joe uh, Bichal's he's at the RCA at the moment yeah. and it's in there. I don't really know how. Did you tell him I'd be up for it? <laughs> 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 I don't even no, I, I he just, just sent emails I'd, out. I'd I said a while ago I'd, I'd help him out with a uh, shot. Now, <laughs> so now I'm going to be helping him. <laughs> helping him with a I, did, I did not. I did not <laughs> be on that. And, uh, yeah, that's 
that's going to take up some time as well. Yeah, but that's, that's all good to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's really, really good to get to mm. do. I think also like being, I think being involved with um, a short film like yeah. like that at the RCA. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those see how other people work. Exactly, as well. exactly. See how those you know how to get those. We like really we love exactly. his work and we yeah. also helped Nick a guy like Nicholas Minard last year. And yeah, that was great. That, that, that was really nice. So his, his new one looks really good. Mm. So yeah, no, it's all good. Mm. Doing as much as you can. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have any advice for anybody who is in your position, uh, like two years ago? Who, uh, wait a minute. Anybody who's currently <laughs> yeah. in your position yeah. when you were just coming out of university? Year, it was a year ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'd, uh, I'd uh, say while you, while you're at uni, mm. just do as much work as you can. Yeah. And like just get as much work online. Don't try and make this big ambitious thing which might end up being a failure. Like have a few backup plans, not just yeah. one. Yeah. Like have so much going that you will get some one thing at least done. Yeah, yeah in, in your second year, just get like something something good done in your second year. So you well, we did the BBC things <laughs> anyway, didn't we? Like that's we did actually yeah, BBC things that are absolutely that's, beautiful. That's, that's <laughs> really, really yeah. nice. That's my most viewed thing on the video. Yeah, it's <laughs> really nice. Really I think nice. mainly because we had the sound figured out, so you just have to do something. Yeah. And oh no, that, that one. Oh no, no one, no one watches my one. Oh, yeah, the shortcuts thing. Shortcuts one, yeah. But what about it in terms of people approaching companies? So that seemed to have worked out pretty good for you guys, making those... Yeah, I was, don't do what I did. <laughs> I, I, I was too nervous, nervous to contact anyone. Yeah, I think that was, that was your main yeah. thing, because it was really annoying, because I was like, oh, you just... just Because I thought you had emailed all these people, <laughs> and then it turned out you had emailed, like, one person. <laughs> I so wasn't yeah. confident enough which, at which, all. Which, which, who did you email? The Cartoon Network. No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I did <didn't. laughs> email them in my second year, and they don't fly about work experience it doesn't happen mm. it would never happen um, I got work experience there oh did yeah um, it was a long time ago oh okay on, well, yeah no, I, I think <laughs> on Gumball they just I don't know the kind of the work experience is the job that I did I guess yeah. but you get paid a uh, proper wage plus so. I guess they can't really trust like it's not that they can't trust the students to do it but it's a hell of a lot of it's just responsibility on such a tight who's, who's budget and schedule I just don't but yeah. I, I, I am contacted a graphic design company and a few app companies like us too which is based in Shoreditch and they kept being like yeah yeah we'll have you in and they're like come and visit us or and send an email to this person and they kept telling me that I could go there and by this time I'd like waited on them and not thought about emailing everyone else mm -hmm. and then they just completely at the last minute they just stopped talking to me <laughs> like, but like I had multiple emails and I'm like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have you in and so how did the Cartoon Network thing come about? Um, that was like one of the producers used to be an album producer oh, right. and she, so she knew one of our tutors oh, great. and she asked like do you have any people that are good with Flash? Right. Um, and she sent a list of people over like a list of names and they picked two people from my uni two people from Bournemouth two people from Falmouth, well, but a bunch of students and interviewed them all and I came up for an interview and, and yeah I So I, you didn't even apply to that, they got No, I didn't even apply to that. That's awesome. So I was yeah. very lucky. Mm -hmm. um, I, I did was, I was on the list but I was interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did work before um, on a Disney small Disney series at Arthur Cox, like a studio in Bristol. Um, and that was from I contacted them um, myself. So that was the only, they're the only two places I've been really, so. That was the good thing that actually about uni is, they did have some good contacts. Yeah. Because quite a lot of people were affiliated with Artman. Mm. And Just don't be scared. No. And do you yeah, think, do you, yeah, think yeah, you got the confidence now? Like I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you've just got, to, to be fair, when I was applying for stuff, I, I was kind of, I think I was so naive that I didn't even really worry. I, I wasn't even thinking about actually getting work. Like, it's like when I emailed Effect, so I was just, I was just emailing him just because like, he might have sort of like, yeah, it? and it was, I hadn't actually really considered in my head what would actually happen. I thought, oh, maybe I'll get like a week or something. And then, so when he came back and he was like, oh, it'd be nice if you could come for kind of eight weeks or something. <laughs> and I was just like, what? Because I was always daunted by what he'd got. 
and more like, oh, he's got such a good CV, like, what do I have to offer? Mm-hmm. So I didn't, I wasn't as proactive about right. saying anything. So I think you shouldn't be fearful of what someone else has it's all done, because you, you, they had to get somewhere in the first place, mm-hmm. so you just go for it, I guess. Yeah, it's like, my, my work was worse I'm definitely not any better than... Well, you didn't finish anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my work wasn't any better than anyone else's. I think you just, sometimes you've just got to just, you might as well just try. Especially for work experience, like, there's nothing that you can really yeah. lose mm-hmm. and, unless you like screw up the work experience really badly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, you might as well just email as many companies as you can. But don't just, come across as a... Yeah, don't be too, <laughs> like, if they I don't know. reply, maybe follow up one, just say, oh, I've sent them an email. But yeah, don't, you don't want to be that guy who's bugging them five times a week. Mm. But, but you also don't want, I also really think if you don't want to do like blanket emails. Like, yeah, yeah no, no, I, don't, I, don't I remember know. doing that once <laughs> and then, and like getting an email back from someone being like, yeah, you sent this to like Jane or my name's like Matt or something. Yeah. Like, oh, it was really <laughs> embarrassing. We, we've got a few of those recently and there's just kind of like like I respond to someone mm. who's taking the time to mm. you know at least like look up your name and write something where it's kind of like they've obviously looked but there's uh, yeah one school in particular which <laughs> I seem, we seem to get lots of emails from um, where we're just on some kind of list and I yeah I think that's another thing is if you yeah when you're going to email people just take like it takes two minutes to write Mm. Yeah. How about Twitter and stuff? Did you, you I guys? I got yeah. into that more in third year. Yeah. yeah, I got into it later and you, you already had it. Yeah, it's very good for um, actually just keeping track on what's going on. Like, yeah. There's so many things I follow about this, like, oh, a new job in animation is coming yeah. up, like, every... How many people do you follow on Twitter? I follow a lot, like... Right. Yeah, I, follow, I think that's my biggest problem on Twitter. I follow too many people, yeah. and it's just like, unless you're wasting your whole day like looking yeah. at Twitter for your updates, I follow 400, but it's still too many. I'm trying to it make, is, cut it gets, down. And yeah, it's I've, just all noise after a while. I think yeah. that this is a thing with Twitter. I remember what, I joined up quite a long time ago, but I never really used it because I wasn't following the right people. Yeah, uh, and I think that it's kind of like it's got a pretty high barrier to. Mm entry because you've got to like really know what you're after and who's who's good at like yeah, tweeting yeah. because it's not just who you're interested in it's also who's active on twitter yeah that's the there's, there's some people who whose stuff i love and they well, I they, they, they put something up every six <laughs> months that's like i've just posted a new video yeah. on vimeo so uh, mm. yeah no i think especially for animation mm. there's a lot of um a lot of good that can come and do, how do you guys use it do you sort of send people tweets who you don't know like do you say hey i like your work and stuff i like that? did more yeah. when, when we first started i think that's yeah. how i've got to know a lot of the people off twitter like i, I think like, just commenting on someone post something you can reply back saying that i really like that like that's awesome and then generally get a conversation started so it's pretty and there is kind of a there is a small sort of community of animators on Mm. Twitch, I think, like, Charles Hootner and Scott Benson and stuff, there's, like, I mean, basically, the like, my work club. <laughs> yeah. But, like, there is there is a kind of a group of about 40, 50 people yeah. that tend to converse a lot. Mm. It's just funny how much people remember with, with a thing like Twitter, like, I, I, when I've actually met people, people are just like, oh, you're the pig guy, like, oh, you're this guy. Or, <laughs> if you have an that little avatar, it might be, mm. like, a silly couch you've done. Mm. You might not think of it, but people generally remember it, like, mm. yeah. it's mad how it stays in their minds. And we've met quite a few people through, like, um, uh, Rob, do you know Robert Lobel? He did Wind, that film with, like, oh. the, yeah, we met him through Twitter, and then we met him in Amsterdam, the clip. So you, you guys had had a conversation or whatever? Yeah, we talked about it. And then got a friend, Loop, Loop Blaster, who's French. I know, when she came over, we met her before. Mm. So, yeah, it's weird that you can just meet people yeah. through Twitch and then eventually you may end up actually. And so the meeting that was a direct result of talking to them on Twitter, or it was just a happy coincidence? It was a direct result, like we wouldn't yeah. have. We, wouldn't like have we arranged to, I guess. Yeah. We wouldn't have. 
So. Were you were you, were you the only guys in your uh, year who were so active on social media and stuff, or was it like pretty much across the board? Um, there was a few people who started, started people. doing it. So were other people doing gifts as well? Mm, a few, but not. It's not. Not so. No. I mean, a lot of a lot of our uni was like stop motion, more craft. Like there was a people. really small amount of people who did. Yeah, there weren't actually that many who did two D. No. So I guess gifts and stuff weren't things that they would do so much. Um, Even illustrate illustrators, there wasn't many people in our course who did illustrations. Yeah, yeah, I think there was sort of a select group of people who did kind of stuff that they would post online, but a lot of people were just happy to just have their stuff exist as real, like, mm -hmm. in the real world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's been a good point. Point. What are we at? Like an hour or something. Yeah. Hour and <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks, cool. everyone. Thank you thanks very so much, guys. Yes, thanks very much for talking yeah. to us. It's really <laughs> interesting. Bye. 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 Bye.